Today, we'll be going over the first video in Section 2, First Screen Orders. Section 2 is about getting started with our sample e-commerce application called Storekeeper. Building a solid foundation and building the first screen. This video is about building a solid foundation. We'll cover the basic foundation of our application and write the first few components. This is how the design of Storekeeper looks like. Storekeeper is going to be an e-commerce management system. Users can update their product catalog, look at current orders, and see a dashboard to get the pulse of their business. The first page we're building is the list of orders. First though, we need to build the Chrome. We're going to want an app component that acts as the root and houses all of our application. Currently, our application looks like this from section one. It already has an app component that we can use, but there's a bunch of things we no longer need. Let's clean that up. I've added a bit of CSS already and a font from the Google Web Font Service so that we can focus on the JavaScript. We'll start by removing the components we no longer need and move the app component to its own file to keep main.js nice and clean. We'll transpile the files and refresh the page to see the result. Now that that works, let's look at our design again. Let's try and break down the major and minor pieces we need to complete the component puzzle. We can see there are two major pieces, the main header and the page itself. We'll focus on the page and the orders in the next video, so for now let's look at the main header. The main header can be divided into smaller pieces like a logo and a main nav. We don't need to make components for all of these, but it's a nice way to lay out a plan for our page and get a good overview of our application. Let's build the main header component and the main nav component. We'll add the main header file and render the logo. The logo is simple enough that it doesn't need to be its own component. Transpiling and refreshing reveals our new main header. It's using the CSS I added ahead of this video. Let's add the main nav component and use it from within the main header. We'll manually mark the orders nav item as the current one. In a later video, we'll tackle the URLs and routing. The final big piece is the page component. It will act as a wrapper to each page that we build. In this case, orders. We could have added orders directly, but having a wrapper gives us a nice CSS hook for the main canvas of the page and allows us to have more shared page level components later on. Transpiling that and refreshing reveals the completed Chrome. In this video, we went over laying out the foundation of our application and got started with the first components. In the next video, we'll work on the table of orders.